Hello everyone, welcome to UBS Trending. I'm your guest host, Michelle LaLiberty, filling in for Anthony. We all think we know where we're getting our information, right? Uh, but correct information is another story. So let's get right on into it with Justin Waring, investment strategist for CIO, who does this for a living. A conversation worth your 10 minutes. Justin, it almost feels like the news is trying to make me anxious or there's always something to worry about and it can be a little bit overwhelming and a little exhausting to try and really peel back the layers and see what's actually relevant. You know, is it actually accurate? Um, so do you have any advice on how to process this seemingly endless uh, news cycle? When we think about the word news, it's really just a plural of new. It's not, it doesn't mean important, um, not not everything's going to be relevant to you or useful information. And so our main advice is, number one, prioritize your sources of information. And uh, number two, put any news headlines that you see into context of your financial plan, because the news doesn't know any, anything about you. They don't know whether this is relevant to you. And then third, build a media diet that sort of helps you to sort the wheat from the chaff um, in, and sort of reduce some of that uh, you know, mental work that it takes to separate what's um, sort of uh, you know, a headline from the actual information that, that's embedded in that news article. So I just want to just pause a second um, and just you know, think about this a little bit more. Um, can you really paint a picture of what you really mean here? I think it's a little bit hard to conceptualize. Let's just like take a look back at the past and the past news stories and try to put ourselves into the shoes of someone living through history. And there's this gentleman named Scott, uh, Scott Kristoloff who actually did this. He went through a weekly magazine going from 1945 to the present day, and he tried to you know, take a journal uh, of what he learned about the future, like what were people thinking about the future, what were people worried about. Uh, and of course, we know the outcome, but someone living through history doesn't know the outcome. And, uh, and so what he found overall from that experience of going through every weekly magazine for 80 years was that uh, people kind of overemphasize things that might happen, worries that don't materialize or end up being less impactful than people are worried about. And the news also tends to underestimate or underreport the, the gradual but consistent pace of progress. And as we know, you know, we as a society have come a huge way over the last 80 years. Uh, but, you know, living through history, it, it kind of sneaks up on you because that's not what really the news is focused on. Yeah, no, I, that's great that you mentioned that because I, I think it's funny that if you actually look back um, when the car was first, you know, um, becoming more popular, there was plenty of headlines about how dangerous they were, you know, kind of scaring people away from the automobile, which is, of course, you know, ubiquitous in our daily lives now. Um, but not having known that at the time, you might have a different, different view. Um, so that's a great example. So you did mention the importance of prioritizing your attention here. So let's just bring up the, the chart that you mentioned so we can have a visual. Um, could you maybe walk us through the chart? So this chart is what we call the ingredients of investor success. And what we're trying to do is juxtapose what's most important for you, what's most personalized to your situation versus what's covered in the news. And those things are very different because the news doesn't know who you are. It doesn't know what your goals are. Doesn't know what concerns might derail your personal financial plan, um, and so it tends to focus on what I like to call the lowest common denominator things, the things that could be important to anyone but aren't the most important thing for any particular person. So, you know, individual stocks, uh, choosing funds, those things get covered in the news constantly, and that that is an important part of building a, a successful portfolio, but. It's not as important, uh, or it's, it's, it's harder to add value with that than it is to manage your taxes. You have lots of control over your tax uh, you know, strategy that can add a lot of value to your uh, growth of your wealth without taking on any extra portfolio risk. And then another and more important thing is choosing the right asset allocation for meeting your goals and managing that asset allocation over time. Again, the news doesn't know anything about that, so it can't really talk about it at all. 
And then, you know, probably the most important aspect of any investor strategy is planning behavior, you know, building the right financial plan to achieve your goals. And then the behavior aspect is just avoiding mistakes, uh, being able to stick with your investment strategy through difficult market environments, those types of things. And the news certainly doesn't help with that. Like you said at the beginning, you know, the news is trying to make you worry. They're trying to guess at what your concerns might be. They're trying to pile on. They're not trying to help you solve anything. They're trying to you know, start fights. <laughs> Yeah, I actually once had a professor tell me that um, you know you'd never hear a news headline about how many planes landed properly today uh, because exactly. no one is interested in that. So um, yeah, that's a great point. I don't mean to cut you off, um, but we are at the end of time here. So um, I'm just going to have one last quick question for you. Um, how do you expect investors, anyone watching um, today, to really kind of act differently moving forward? Well, I, when it comes to building a good media diet, I think it's important to think through the news sources that you have at your disposal and think about which ones are relevant and useful to you and, and educational and which ones are more entertainment. I think it's okay to have some entertainment in your life, but news entertainment can be particularly damaging because it, it seems more important if it's news. Um, and so I would try to cut those news sources out of your diet as much as you can. But if you do continue to consume news entertainment, uh, make sure that you're thinking about it as entertainment. And, and the other thing is, you know, if you do see something in the headlines that you think might affect you, talk to your financial advisor. Your financial advisor watches the news every day so that you don't have to. And they can use resources like the chief investment office here at UBS and other third-party news uh, and, and investment strategy resources to help you put the news into the context of your own personal financial plan. And at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. How are these things going to affect you? They can affect, you know, there's plenty of news headlines that can affect other people uh, much more than you. And if you've got a well-diversified, balanced portfolio, that's going to be the majority of things. You know, most headlines aren't going to require a change to your investment strategy. But, you know, it's, you can't entirely ignore the news. And so it's just important to have the right filter. Yeah, I completely agree. Thank you, Justin. And you know, as I mentioned, we are running out of time here. Um, so that's all we have for today. But this has been a really great conversation. So thanks so much for, for being on the show. Thanks for having me. For more information, visit www.ubs.com forward slash studios. Make sure to follow UBS on social media, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and check out our past trending episodes on demand. As always, if you have any questions about your portfolio, please speak with a financial advisor. And until next time, I'm Michelle LaLiberty, filling in for Anthony. Have a great rest of your day, and remember to keep your eyes on what's trending.